你好 ，Welcome to Ask Andy. In this video, our topic is shopping, bargaining, and discounts in Chinese. I'm going to answer four questions. Question number one: How much is it in Chinese? So I'm going to teach you how to say that in Chinese. Question number two: How to bargain in Chinese? So I'm going to share with you some tips for you to bargain in Chinese. Question number three: What are the common promotions in China? So I'm going to show you some common promotions in China, and you're going to see that a lot in China. Question number four: Discounts in China are false. Why? So I'm going to answer that question in this video. Let's get started. Got a question in your Chinese learning? Ask Andy. How to find my channel and subscribe? Search Ask Andy on YouTube, and you can find the channel on the top. If you're new to the channel, thank you for coming by to check out my videos. Please click the red button to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Question number one: How much is it in Chinese? Actually, we can say that in an easy way because you don't really need to say the name of those things you want to ask about. You just point to something and ask: 这个多少钱？这个。多少钱 So, 这个 means this one. 多少 is how much. 钱 is money. So, lots of learners find the pronunciation 钱 not easy. Let's see how can I make it easier. So, for this 钱 what you can do is you rewrite it into C H E E A N. Now it's easy. Try it. 钱钱 So that is for something close to you. So, for example, if something costs 100 RMB, the seller would say 一百块一百块 So, for money expressions in Chinese, you can check out this video. And then let's move on. So, what about this one? So, if it's you are asking about something far from you, so you need to point to that thing and ask 那个多少钱那个 So that is that one. How much money? And then the seller may let you know the price. For example, the price is one hundred and fifty RMB. So that is 一百五十块一百五十块 See, I make 十块 like in brackets. So you may hear someone just let you know the price as 一百五一百五 So remember that 一百五 is one hundred and fifty. It is not one hundred and five. So you can check this video here to know more about the expressions about numbers over one hundred. Let's move on. So we have done question number one to learn to say how much is it in Chinese. Let's move on to question number two: how to bargain in Chinese. Okay, how to bargain in Chinese? Here are some tips. You can say this thing. Start with 太贵了太贵了 So what is that? 太贵了 is too expensive. Too expensive. So you're complaining, and then you can say something like that. That will be 便宜一点便宜一点 So here for the pronunciation, 便宜 and 一点 So you're going to find e e together. So you can just pronounce this e longer to combine them together. So it becomes 便宜一点 So that is make it cheaper. Sort of, you are saying to the shopkeeper, "Can you make it cheaper?" So make it cheaper. Can you make it cheaper? That would be 便宜一点便宜一点 And then, if you are still not satisfied with the offer, you can do this one. You can say, 最便宜多少钱最便宜多少钱 So this is 最 Refers to the supreme, so that will be the cheapest. 最便宜 is the cheapest. 多少钱 is how much money? How much? So you are asking, what's the lowest price? And this one, if you are still hesitating, you don't find is good enough, or you are not satisfied with the offer for that price, you can say, 我再看看，我再看看。So that will be. I again have a look. Actually, it means I'll have another look. So you are saying you are not satisfied. Sort of, you are going out to another place to have a look or to have a look at something else. In that case, the shopkeeper 
or the shop owner, they are going to say, okay, I can offer you a better price. Those are some tips for you to bargain in Chinese. Okay, so we have done question number one, question number two. Right now, let's move on to question number three. What are the common promotions in China? So what are the common promotions in China? Here, this one is the first thing I show to you. So what are these three big characters? Those are 大减价. 大减价. So 大减价. So 大减价 means big sale. Big sale. So actually, literally, it means big reduce price. It means they are going to reduce a lot. So it is a big sale. This is one of the common promotions you can see in China. So this one. 买一送一. 买一送一. So it means buy one, get one for free. So 买一. 送一, 买一, 送一. So that is buy one, get one for free. And then this one. 寂寞清仓, 寂寞清仓. So 寂寞清仓, that is end of season clearance sale. 寂 is season, 寞 is the end. 清仓 is clearance sale. And then this one. 第二件半价. So, 第二件半价. So, 第二件, that is the second item. 半价. 半 is half. 价 is price. So, the second item, half price. That's it. Okay. We have done question number one, number two, and number three. Right now, let's move on to question number four. Discounts in China are false. Why? Why? Okay, discounts in China are false. Why? To answer that question, we must get to know how to say discount in Chinese. So discount in Chinese is 打折. 打折. So here is an example. So when you're asking, is there any discount? So any discount, you can just ask, 打折吗? 打折吗? And then you may hear the answer. Answer one would be 打折. 打折, just repeat, 打折. So which means that is yes. And then the other one would be 不打折. 不打折. So if it's 不打折, that is no. So the conversation would stop here. But let's move on with the answer for yes. So you can ask this question. That will be 打几折? 打几折? So this 几 here refers to how much. So literally it is how much discount. So you are asking what's the discount. For example, the seller says 打九折? 打九折? Does that mean 90% off? Wow, that's a big discount, right? I'm sorry to let you know. No, actually, it means 10% off. 10% off and 90% off. They're opposite to each other. They're different. That's why I'm saying discounts in China are false. Here, let's analyze it. Why it is like that. So, in English, when we are talking about discount, so what is discount? Discount, actually, it means don't count. So discount, it means we're, we don't count that part in the price. So that's why we always say like 10% off, 20% off. So 10% off, actually, it means don't count that 10%. So don't count that 10%. For example, something costs 100 US dollars, so we don't count the 10%. It means we are going to subtract $10. Then what we really need to pay is $90, right? Let's see in Chinese. So in Chinese, what we say is 打折. 打折. What does that really mean? So 折 actually it means fold. So 打折 actually it means fold the price. So what does fold the price mean? So for example, 打九折. Actually, it means you need to pay 
So that is fold the price into 90% of the original price. So for example, something costs 100 RMB. The original price is 100 RMB. 打九折 that will be you pay 90%. That will be 100 RMB times 90%. So what you really need to pay is 90 RMB. See, they are different in the way they are talking about the discount. So here is the point. So for discounts in Chinese. The smaller number you see, the less you pay. While in English, the bigger number you see, the less you pay. Actually, they are opposite to each other, right? So, let's practice. Let's see an example. So this one. So, 一件八点五折一件八点五折 So for decimals in Chinese, you can check out this video for more information. So this one, 一件八点五折 and this one, 两件七点八折两件七点八折 How much do you need to pay? What are the discounts here? Think about it. So, 一件八点五折 So in Chinese, the number you see is the percentage of the price you need to pay. So, 一件八点五折 That would be one item. You pay eighty-five percent of the original price, and then what about this one? 两件七点八折 So that will be two items. You pay seventy-eight percent of the original price. For sure, that will be each of those two things. You pay seventy-eight percent of the original price. So have you got it? That's why I'm saying discounts in China are false. Actually, it is not false. Those discounts are just different from English, or you can think it is opposite to English. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you find my video useful for you. If you like my video, please like it below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you can be the first one to see my latest videos. And this is a Q and A channel. If you have any questions in your Chinese learning, you can just leave a comment below. I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. 再见。